Today, I'm catching up on a weekly journal spread and chatting about some of the supplies I use in my traveler's notebook. For the dates, I use two typewriter style alphabet stamp sets. The larger stamp set is by Recollections and I purchased them at Michael's. The smaller set is by Stampendous and I ordered this off of Amazon ages ago. By the way, I'll list all of the supply information in the video description below. To stamp the month in this undated weekly notebook, I use the larger stamp set. I peel off a single letter and place it onto an acrylic block. The stamp clings to the block which is clear. This makes it easy to see where I'm stamping. I use Brilliance Fast Drying Pigment Ink in Graphite Black by Dewdrop. Taking the ink pad, I gently dab it onto the stamp to coat it with an even layer of ink. Then I apply even pressure to the acrylic block to stamp the letter. Taking a dampened paper towel, I clean off the ink from the stamp and put it back with the other letters. I like to stamp individual letters one at a time so that they can be positioned closer together. As you can see, the word November takes up most of the available space. For the dates, I use the same process using the numbers from the smaller typewriter stamp set. I stamp all of the twos first, reapplying ink in between. Then I finish up with the other numbers. Most of the time, I write a few sentences about something significant that happens every day in my weekly notebook. Since the sections are small, it's easy to get into the habit of journaling daily. However, this week I totally neglected to do that, so I had to try and recall what happened last week. It was really difficult, and I had to piece together clues from social media, texts, and ask people. It's astounding how little I can remember of what happened just a few days ago, which is all the more reason to write down memories every day. This is a Pilot Kakuno fountain pen. It's my first fountain pen and now it's my most used writing utensil. I would love to try other fountain pens in the future. I think that using one has helped me write neater. My handwriting has gone through many phases. Starting in first grade, I had mandatory penmanship classes in school. In all of our classes, points would be taken off for sloppy handwriting. So from six to 10 years old, I had print and cursive practice for homework. The habit of practicing neat writing has stuck with me since then. I went through several phases where I wrote bigger, smaller, thinner, slanted or not slanted, until finally I settled on what you see in this video. If you're interested in seeing some of my handwriting from the past, let me know. It seems like the most comments I get are about my handwriting. Here I am ripping a piece of scrapbook paper and pasting it onto the corner of my page. It's a quick way to add some texture and add interest to a blank page. This is a movie ticket stub for Thor Ragnarok, which I watched in theaters on Thursday. I printed these stickers out onto full clear sheet labels and cut them out. These cute graphics are from Creative Market. Most of the graphics available for purchase there can be used for personal projects like this one. This washi tape is from Tim Holtz, which I bought in a set at Michael's.
The Pentel Sign brush pen in black is my favorite pen for brush calligraphy. Here I am writing the word grateful onto a sheet of craft adhesive paper. This pen creates beautifully thick downstrokes when I apply pressure and nice thin upstrokes when I lift it off the page. This pen has also lasted me for several months and hasn't dried out in the slightest. I cut out the word and stuck it onto my paper using a bone folder to smooth it out. I decided to list out several things I am thankful for since Thanksgiving has just passed. Speaking of which, I am very grateful for all of you who are following along my journal, sketchbook, and art journey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.